Castle, your home. Hey, if you're free today, want to go somewhere? Yukiko's coming too. How about you, Nanako-chan? Want to come? Um... All right, then here we go. Why'd you bring poor Nanako-chan to a place like this on Golden Week? Where else is there to go? I love Juness! Nanako-chan! But we were supposed to go on a real trip somewhere. We were going to make boxed lunches. Wow! You can make boxed lunches, Nanako-chan? So you're the family cook. Pretty impressive, big bro. Big bro. Whoa, you can cook? Well, you do seem to be great with your hands. Uh, uh never mind. Now, I'm a pretty good cook too, you know. Pro probably. Well, if you'd asked, I would have whipped up some box lunches as easy as pie. Yeah. Uh, let me think about no. What makes you think I can't cook? Well, let's have a cook-off and see for ourselves. My, my, doth the lady protest too much? And hey, I never said I cooked. But I have this weird feeling like I'd win anyway. <laughs> I can understand that. What the? Yukiko? Here, Nanako-chan can be our judge. I bet we'll make something that ranks up there with your mom's cooking, Nanako-chan. I don't have a mom. She died in an accident. Hey, Yosuke. I see. Um... Sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. Even if I don't have a mom, I have dad with me. And now I have a brother, too. And I'm having a lot of fun today. I love Juness. Yeah? That's good. We'll play with you anytime you want, Nanako-chan. Yeah, we should hang out more often. Come on, Nanako-chan. Let's go get a soda. She's a strong girl. Yeah, she makes me feel like I'm the little kid here. That's it. I'm gonna go get something for Nanako-chan, too. Do you want something, too? Takoyaki?
Let's go. Right. Welcome home!
The prime suspect in yesterday's ATM robbery in northern Inaba was arrested earlier today. The alleged thief is Pomena Sushin, a 26-year-old former employee of the company which reported the stolen vehicle. According to the police investigation, Pomena Sushin was... I'm home. Ugh. How many days is he gonna call in sick? These rookies lately sure are... Welcome back! Nanako. I'm sorry I broke my promise again. Oh, um, my big bro and his friends played with me instead. I see. Thanks. Oh, that's a Juness bag! <laughs> What's in it? <laughs> Good eye. Well, today is Children's Day. So I brought you a present. Yay! <laughs> Ooh, a t-shirt! <laughs> it took me a while to decide what to get you. You like it? You one too. Not that you're still a child or anything, but fair is fair. What's the matter? It's the style right now, isn't it? They had a huge stack of them. I thought you might need one soon. Well then, let's eat. Yo! Damn it, I just fixed this thing. It's making squeaking sounds again. Huh? Yeah. Hey, by the way, I'm sorry about the other day. You know, about what I said to Nanako-chan. After hanging out with Nanako-chan, I feel even stronger that we have to solve this case. Yeah. Let's give it all we got. You know, Chie and Yukiko seem different lately. They're a lot closer. Oh, yeah, I was just curious, but are you... I, never mind. You know, if we keep chatting, we're gonna be late. Oh, man, school's such a chore. And now my bike's messed up, too. The roads are much wider here than in the city, so I keep speeding. I guess that did it. Oh, well... Until I get my motorcycle license, I'll just have to walk. What's up?
Days have to end so fast. And at least they were peaceful. I listened in on the housewives gossiping at Juness, but it doesn't seem like anything happened. And I haven't heard anything about someone disappearing suddenly either. You think Yukiko could have been the last of the victims? Hmm. I don't know. But we shouldn't relax as long as the culprit remains at large. I wonder, will someone show up on TV again if it rains? If we only knew a little more about who the killer might be. Uh, it's no good fretting over it now. If someone does show up on the Midnight Channel, then we'll deal with it. It's supposed to start raining soon, but I hope this weather holds through next week. You know, midterms. Uh, you had to go and bring that up. I don't want to think about it. I wish I had Yukiko's gift for studying. Hey, Yosuke, why don't you have Yukiko go over some of the material with you? Hmm? Oh, that's right. Yukiko's ranked at the top on every exam. Maybe I should ask her for some private lessons. <laughs> private lessons? Huh? What's wrong? What was that for? I'm just asking you to help me study. Oh, I'm sorry. You were talking about studying. I thought it might have been an off-color joke. Arian has had some strange visitors lately. If you thought it was a joke, then just shrug it off. Sorry. My hand moved without thinking. Jeez. Thanks a lot, Chie, for bringing up the whole studying thing. What did I do? You're the one who made it sound creepy and wrong. Private lessons, huh? What? Then it's mostly my fault? Oh, I should start heading home.
let's go. Huh? Laters! Welcome home! Hey! Yeah.
What's wrong? night. 